Hello. So I'm going to do a bed of nails experiment for you, just in case you're stuck at home because of COVID. So here's my wooden block, and in my wooden block I have a whole bunch of nails. Holes drilled in the block, it allows for all these nails. And this is supposed to resemble the bed of nails trick, where somebody lays on a bed of nails and the nails don't pierce their body because of the distribution of that pressure. So, let's see if I can get this centered. before I have any books on there. I'm going to use books as weights. All right. I don't know if you can see that on the film, on the video, but I can kind of see the nail is kind of um, protruding into the surface of the balloon. So let's try one first. I'm going to try to keep the weight centered so that it distributes that force equally across the balloon, across the block at least. So one. We're okay so far. Maybe lift this up and slightly scoot it over. Try two. All right, we're okay so far. And I'm just trying to balance them. I'm not decreasing the amount of force that these books are exerting. I think these books are around five or six pounds each, so it's about 12 pounds right there. All right, let's try three books. So roughly 18 pounds or so, I believe. That might do it. Yep, there it is. All right, 18 pounds, three books. I popped it. And I took all the nails out and I decided to try bed of nail. Okay, see how that would fare? I wouldn't want to lay on bed of nail. Hopefully you can see that, one nail. I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be able to get this onto the stand without it popping, but I'm interested to see how much force it takes. I would guess minimal. Remember it took 18 pounds of force to create enough pressure to pop that balloon when I had all the bed of nails filled in, but now they have bed of nails. Yeah, that was like ounces of force. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. That did it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.